Welcome back to part two of what only should have been a one-part episode. Uh, quick recap if you didn't see part one. Uh, 64 being a lot behind me on the rack. Came in for a, uh, basically a brake complaint and a um, chattery clutch or drivability issue. Upon that, we noticed uh, that there was ATF in the transmission. Shouldn't have it. It's a four-speed. Should just have gear, you know, normal gear oil. Um, and the wheel seals were blown, basically causing the brakes themselves to be, you know, brand new brake job that this car apparently had in another shop, destroyed. So this episode, we're going to finish up what we should have been doing in the first episode. I'm assuming, I'm hoping anyway, and I do not want to part three. But with that said, we're going to slap shoes on this thing, uh, adjust them out correctly, uh, and get under the hood and see what's going on under there. I noticed the fuel filters under there. I don't like them under uh, Volkswagen engine covers. I'm going to relocate that. We're also going to slap an electronic uh, ignition just for a drivability aspect of this car. Um, it's a car. You should be able to just get into it, fire it up, and go where you need to go without any, you know, I don't know, hesitant feelings over I have to baby it or it's going to break down. So with all of that said, Let's uh, dive in here and throw some shoes on this thing and uh, hopefully get the wheels back on and other stuff we're going to be doing. I already, forgot, I already forgot what I said I was doing. We're going to do things and then uh, the video is going to show what I'm doing. Cue cut screen. Without further ado, mm, sausage. All right, let's try this again. Driver's side. Forgot to hit record on the old uh, passenger side. But son of a biscuit. Anywho, uh, as I was saying, forgot to hit record because, you know, mechanic first, uh, videographer, commentator second, usually. So, but good news for you guys. Treat, if you will. Um, I did hit record, so it is on time lapse. What am I doing? Um, it is on the, uh, like I said, the, the time lapse of doing this. So, we spring. There we go. You just make sure that it fall, falls all the way apart. Um, but uh, we're on the driver's side. Like I said, I think like four or five times at this point. Um, forgot to hit record on the old passenger side. I mean, even though these brakes look okay-ish, they got a little shine, a little glinting on them. Um, Because the other side was shot, we're, uh, we're obviously going to replace this side as well. Um, same thing as the other side. I didn't show it because, well, again, I'm a dumb. And mechanical takes precedent over uh, being a videographer. But, uh, um, 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 always with the ums. I gotta stop with the ums. Hold on by, whoop, there we are. Uh, it's like, like I said, a little pie, pie symbol looking thing. Focus, thank you. Little pie looking symbol. Hold on, son of a biscuit. <sighs> Hold on your uh, parking brake actuator. Weep, weep. Can't see. What? Anywho, figure out which way it goes, stick her in the hole, so you have parking brake actuation, slide your clip back in, yeah, it just keeps landing, there's your clip, boop, holds it on, side, little action. Uh, 
No, let's just make a mess on the floor. That's fine. This side wasn't as bad as the other side. Obviously, it's not all oily and greasy, but you want to get you want to get the crap off of it anyway. Yeah. You know, couldn't find freaking brake clean the other day. Saved my life. But uh, today, it seems like I got cans all over the place. So, any hick, let's get these uh, drums on. Rotate. They're simple enough to put on. Of course, I freaking. Can I he man it? Eek! Sure, she's mildly seated. And another one. Indeed. Click. Boop. That's on. Sp spring later. Need my pliers. Break good jigger. Make sure you touch that. Parking thingy. The step notch. The one with the extra thing. Looks like a, a house, if you will, with a little chimney. Yeah. You know. Uh there's a curve and a house with the chimney goes that way. The chimney part, I don't know, lack of better terms, description, uh, use your imagination, the chimney goes over the uh, actual emergency brake actuator lever, livery, livery J, there, and padoop, next thing, we attach a said spring, spring part there, Oh, I almost ripped my nipple off on this one. Yeah, there we go. Springs on. Good. And that is how you do drums, or at least seat them, put them on, plop them. One thing I do like to do, it's not, it's not really necessary. Um, it's not really a big deal if you do it or you don't do it. But I am a huge, huge fan of um, anesthes. Because I at least like these things in the rare instance that they can't come off or won't come off. Um, ever get stuck. It'll prevent the, the, the it getting stuck part. And if I'm ever the next guy that has to work on this thing, I do not want to be fighting this. But dig it. Find the splines. Find the splines. And just slide it on. Boo! Nutty thing. Loud noises. Okay. 
and you want it tight. It's not as tight as it was on the uh, the last uh, when we originally removed this. Cause that was excessive. Uh, use your half inch hammer. Give it a little deppy tap. And that side's done. It's a quick adjustment on that. Um, I'll do it. I really can't let you guys see. Let you guys really see what's going on. But um, that star wheel that's in there, general area, wherever it is. Um, what you're gonna break clean. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to basically tighten them, run them out, what have you, till they make contact with the drum on a light drag and usually if they're brand new uh, everything's brand new like this one is what um, what I end up doing is going a little a little bit tighter uh, on the drag because everything's new under here um, and in theory what it's going to do is when it's a little tight that the drums will center in there and loosen or make slack, make a make a gap, make a gap, if you will. Um, it's worked. It's worked countless times for me, so I'm going to keep doing it that way. And then, obviously, you also want to run them out equally: left side, right side, left side, right side. I know some people uh, will get the urge to just run one side out because, uh, well, it's easier. <laughs> and what does it matter? Um, you run both sides out pretty, you know, keep the threads as evenly as you possibly can. Like I said, you just want to, you can probably hear it me speak loudly and clearly into my chest. You can hear the drag on those shoes. Um, like I said, I run them in a little tighter. If that, if this was uh, just a brake, say a brake adjustment, that that amount of noise, I guess you want to call it, I would be fine with. But like I said, I just want wanted them in just a little further than normal. So that when they do center, that part of it's done already. There we go. And you could you could probably hear that brake sort of loosening up in there. Um, so I feel comfortable with this one. It'll be the same thing on the other side. You can hear the drag, actually, let me run it in just a little bit more. picked up in my mic but uh I tighten that one up some more give this one a little more too so they match there we go I like that when you we you run it in uh when you run it they're gonna center in that and uh, cause them to uh, basically loosen up. Not the screw, but the actual gaps become consistent around the drum. So, all right, these are done. We'll, uh, let me get set up or do whatever, and then uh, let me get under this hood. I'm gonna check the fronts. Uh, if I see anything out of normal or out of the ordinary, I'll bring it up there, but uh, I think it's just an adjustment just by spinning in the way it feels.
Alright, let me cue you into what I got going on right now. Um, I know the time lapse has been rolling, but uh, notice that there was no Speedo cable in this thing. Well, it's kind of in here, it's just not all the way through. So, I want to remedy, 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 D, D. Uh, I want to remedy that. And actually, you know, get it how it's supposed to be. Weird, I know, crazy, some would say. Um, but I did feel a, a wiggle in this wheel. I wanted to make sure it wasn't the bearings. Um, ho well, ho you know, hoping it wasn't the bearings being loose or anything like that. They seem to check out, so that's a good thing. The other side was just as, uh, was okie dokie as well. This is like surgery right now. Come on, just pop through. Pop through. Come on. Don't move the cable. I just want you. I just want that limit. Come on, Nub. Come on, Nubby. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. You're so close. So, there it is. Look at that magic. Um, yeah, basically this all, uh, whole thing, like I said, felt, felt wiggle in it. <coughs> I felt wiggle in it. Um, just wanted to make sure the bearings weren't loose. Like I said, the, uh, the brakes have been done, so that means that drum has been off. I just want to make sure it's tight uh, and, you know, safety. The brakes are, uh, the other side, passenger side felt fine, um, but we're, what really got me, uh, you know, fixated, if you will, on that was uh, there's no freaking speedometer cable through the thing. Hate when there's no speedometer cable, well, through, through this. And the thing is, it was, oh, damn it. The thing is, it was there. Eh, it's kind of rough. Um, it was there. It just wasn't pushed all the way through. Slap it on. Oh, well, it didn't fit all the way, so good enough. At least that's right. Ah, conversation I heard in my head. Oh, I'll put that grease cap back on. Bearings look good. Um, so that's all good. Like I said, speedometer cable. Also, if you notice me pop it and shoot it in, it's probably what happened. They might have got it through, but, uh, you know, it fell off or fell through. But, give this thing a quick adjustment and call this side good. Lost my flashlight. No, it didn't. Because it is loose. There's almost zero drag on this wheel. Oh, I'll just go in here and just if I, where am I? Man. Like I said, almost no drag on this side. We're just going to run these adjusters. Everything else seems like it checked out. Um, the pads just kind of, or the shoes, just kind of looking through the inspection hole here. Um, look like they could be considered excessively worn. There. Now it's not the uh, Price is Right wheel. Um, and there's a adjusting seat in. It looks as if you've worn like the fronts have been doing most uh, most of or majority of the uh, the braking. Um, which I mean, it's good because they work. They work. So done, done. Let's drop it down. <laughs>
something like that. Um, it should be a, fi uh, a 15360. Uh, this is a 15360. It should be a 1533 double nickel. So 355 belt. Um, so it's shorter. One of two things. You should only have a half inch of play, a quarter to a half inch in this belt. That's like a ridiculous amount. But uh, also, it's a two piece, uh, two piece pulley. There's, I think, something like eight washers in 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 this mix uh, to get your basically your gap. Your it's how you tighten it. Um, you shouldn't have them all stacked up on the outside. If you do have them stacked up only out on the outside, and that's your slop, that means you either have a worn belt or most likely incorrect belt. And if this is brand new, um, that should have been a red flag. But we'll get a new belt on order. We'll put that on so it's correct. But uh, like I said, there's black all over this carburetor. I don't know if you'll, uh, hold on, let me, let me grab you off this thing. This high tech mount I have. Where are you guys? There you go. I don't know how well that picks up, but there's black all over this carburetor. Let me do the right thing actually flip my screen so I can see what the hell I'm doing. All those black dots or that blackness that's on this thing. That's all belt material. This is I guarantee this thing squeals. Um, also giving you erroneous uh, power output. Not charging correctly the whole time you know, on, off, flickering, so on and so forth. Could be a part of the drivability issue as well. I'm not saying that's going to be the main cause. But we'll, uh, like I said, we're doing the electronic ignition. We'll put new wires on this thing because these are shot. Also, you got a random one in there. I'll show you when you figure it out. Nice green wire. So I'm going to say the points have been replaced in this thing fairly recently. What do we got under here? Cap hasn't. Cap's dirty. Let me, let me just get you guys all in here. But uh, this is what I'm saying. Wires look original. Cap looks original or whatever. You got some random wire. Weird, but uh, that looks like a brand new or brand newer, brand news, newer, whatever, uh, points. Let's see what we got in here. Cap, dirty, rusty, oh, looks good, we'll replace that, I have another one, rotor button, definitely seen better days, it's not terrible, she's a little worn, we'll put a new one in, just because, wow, okay, never mind, um, Hard to do like six things at once. Um, all of that in there. That's all rust and debris. And looks like dead critters. And those points do look fairly new. Wow. Condenser looks new too. So, alright. A little more than what I was expecting to do. Um, so... Like I said, new new fuel pump, new carburetors on it. Fuel lines have been crimp connected in to a fuel filter. Why you do that, I don't know. <sighs> All right, hold on. Yeah, again, this is where I'm at. I'm gonna do a parts call order and uh, for a new get a new belt, new wires. Um, I don't like what I see. Like I said, we're going to relocate that fuel um, fuel line or fuel filter to under the car. But that distributor, that distributor is, yeah, it's garbage. I'm not even, I'm not going to say there's, that distributor is no bueno. Non-good, if you will. Just by looking at it, all the rest, yeah, it could still be a good unit or whatever, but someone did actively put points in there and... I mean, it's 
junk. So we're going to do the right thing, and actually, if you remember this car, which is back for a rear main seal now, because when they sit, you, stuff ends up leaking. So we're going to be putting a rear main in that car, uh, probably next video. Uh, but anyway, um, the distributor that took a dump in that one um, wasn't the distributor that failed, it was the uh, electronics in it. So I just had a spare distributor on the shelf, threw it in there a lot easier. I still have this old distributor. I'm gonna shove that in with the new electronics and uh, this thing will be more gooder, more better. So more fun, unexpected things to come. Uh, but uh, when I get parts, be right, we'll be right back. Well, it's the next day. I have parts, uh, finish this thing out. So first thing I need to do is I need to get that news distributor that came out of the car over here, uh, rip its guts out, put an electronic unit in, and then I'll be back with you when that's done to swap out a belt, some wires, uh, tune on it a little bit, and then hopefully get this thing on the ground and go for a ride. All right, come back. A little wiggle jiggle. We're gonna yank this distributor pretty much where we left off in, I guess, the last cut. Let me pull this thing out real quick. Uh, but actually, before I pull that, let me get this engine to TDC. I'm gonna roll this thing over TDC for uh, reference. Yeah, again, super freaking loose. And when we put a... Uh, Um, that should be one. Should be. Uh, I will double check myself via wire. That's not it. Yeah, that's it. As long as I had to go on. All right, yeah. TDC number one. I like setting that, especially when I'm pulling the distributor. Because under there, you just pull the distributor out and, well, it comes out. You put the next one pretty much where this one was and you should be, you have more likelihood of it firing up. Because it makes life easier. Yeah, here on. You guys can see in there. I mean, it's like a salt shaker. No wonder you were having a drivability issue. New non salt shaker unit. This is, like I said, the one out of the. Uh, what the hell is it? Whoop. This is the old one out of that car if you watched that video. Um, we had an electronic, I had an electronic ignition fail on me. And um, I just dropped the whole new distributor in. But let's go. Number one. Jiggle wiggle. Make sure she's in the detent. There it is. Click, click. And we'll set timing and all that good stuff as well. But as of right now, I just want to get this thing in, hook it up, turn the key, and hopefully get some, uh, have this thing make some noise on this original system. As far as original system, I mean the original wires. No need to tighten the crap out of it. Like I said, I still have to go back and um, redo that. Where? Where's this mess go? Let's see. Fuel line again is going away. 
uh, red to hot. Boop. Black to your negative part or where your uh, points were hooked up. Out of the way. Let's crank this thing, see if she'll fire. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if this thing makes noise. Might take some cranking. Looks like that fuel bowl is empty. There should be, uh, or the filter is empty, not the bowl. Hopefully there's fluid in the, oh, I'm getting old. Hopefully oh, there's fluid in the uh, gas in the bowl. All right, I had to cut that. It sort of made noise. It still doesn't run. So we're just gonna go ahead, because I know it's shooting fire, or it needs to be shooting fire. But for, what the hell's the notch? But for it not to be uh, firing off, please believe that that cap or a wire or something, yes, it did run with the other ones. Don't get me wrong, it did. But you know what? We're just gonna pull all this stuff off. We're not leaving anything to chance on this. This cap looks horrible. Anyway. Click, click. Alright, new wires, new stuff, new things. Let's see if she'll fire off now. Oh. There it is. Idles, timing set. Let me get this thing relocated underneath. Not that that matters, but we'll just have the whole system connected. But yeah, alright, cool. Ugh. I got, I'm going to spare you guys the, uh, the drama here. Um, where the hell is it? Fuel line, you know, professionally zip tied to the, uh, the electrical harness, which is, you know, perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna rip this out, run a, run a new line up here, up there, and then I'm just gonna put this underneath. Um, yeah, uh, I'll probably have it in time lapse, but I'm not gonna show you how to move a fuel filter. The key is not to know how to move it, just know not to put the damn thing in here. So, all right. All right, new topic of a rant. One, if you're the guy who puts these style clamps on, the crimpy things like factory, uh, you're an a-hole. Two, German lines under the car or in the engine bay. German lines, if they're not ethanol rated, if they're just for that factory appearance that people like, they suck. The reason they suck is, I'm assuming this is relatively brand new-ish or newer. They fray, they crack, the ethanol gets in there and eats them. Um, you need to use, I'm sorry, normal rubber line that's rated for ethanol. They do make it, but it's expensive in the German style cloth cover, but just get normal stuff. Cool's only so cool until you catch on fire and then you're hot as heck.
Saturday on this test drive and Louisville's deciding to have a marathon, we're taking the back roads, which is good for stop and go and so and so forth. Mainly because there was the drive, remember there was the drivability concern of uh, shutter. Uh, still, still trying to feel that. The brakes, brakes work phenomenal um, now. It's amazing. Um, might have to tweak the distributor just a little. Or the car. A little, little buggy. Most likely driver error on that one. Um, yeah, we're actually uh, just going to take a nice cruise. There's a marathon going on in town. So, uh, roads are closed like crazy. So, we're back road again. Or city street again. Which I feel is a little bit better to do drivability concerns. We'll just head on to my uh, buddy's uh, retro wrench. We're a local motor mo uh, vintage motorcycle shop here. What we'll end up doing actually just feeling that bog. Um, man, these brakes are good. Um, what we'll end up doing with that uh, bog because it is running the 009 uh, distributor under her. Uh, I'm gonna open up the uh, accel uh, accelerator pump a little more, give it a little more juice. This way, you don't have to do the pre rev that a couple people do to overcompensate the. Uh, uh, what's it have? The mechanical advance that these distributors only have. So that should be easy to adjust out. Um, maybe put a little bit more timing in it. Maybe set it to 30 instead of 28. Um, probably not. Probably just going to leave it where it's at. The, uh, oh, that, right now, she's idling great. Clutch feels all right. Um, I did order a Bowman cable. Boom, Bowman tube, boom. The, 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 the bendy thing, uh, the one under there looks janky. Um, it's dry rotted sleeve. This thing, it has about, well, it had about, a, you know, half inch washers on there. So someone's been fighting this jitter for a while. So what we're gonna do is, uh, Put a new one in, ship it if it needs to. Get some flex in it. Get some, get some flex back in that too. Uh, it could be a part of that jitter. I took it out. I took some of it out uh, the other day. Or I took the washers out the other day and bent the tube down because it was bent on like a weird 45. Um, I didn't record it. wasn't uh, wasn't actually planning on doing it till I s saw it and just ripped it out, or you know, set it back to factory and it looks better. Um, it was almost like an SE bend. Uh, not not really good for cable. So that prompted me, obviously, just order a new one. Um, we're also going to do uh, I'll, I'll slam a uh, um, what's it called? Forward, rear, forward towards engine uh, trans strap get on uh, just to just to cinch her down more like I said this uh, just with the amount of washers and everything that's hot was on this car um, it seems like it's a, a fight that someone's been losing who knows maybe the reason for the clutch maybe that was a diagnostic but it's not you need a clutch you got a shutter um, but if those but if those two things don't fix it Those two things don't fix it. We'll end up pulling motor and replacing all the mounts. But the mounts look good. Like I don't, I, I, I can't get any movement other than you know what would be considered you know normal. They're not separated. They're not broken. The car shifts fine, so it's not the forward mount or the nose cone mount because I don't want to pull the trans. But I mean the the shutter right now is super light, so I'm leaning towards. The shutter in this thing's super light right now, so I'm moving towards it. Is the uh, it is the Bowman tube? It's just too uh, too hard for me. I mean, 
Oh yeah, show me how good it is. One's good. But yeah, like I said, we're just on our way to Retro Ranch right now. See what's uh see what they got going on. Figure enough stop and go and I've hit every light. So you could try on uh, the runability, drivability, shiftability. We'll, 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 we'll check off all the abilities on this thing. So, back in shop. Like I said, a couple things, you know, we're going to replace on this still, just due to the the, uh, the Bowman cable or Bowman tube, whatever you want to call it. We'll replace that. Um, I'll cut a video, but as far as that goes, the car is going to leave right. It will leave correct. The guy will be able to enjoy it for the first time in... Like I said, three years. Um, hopefully no issues out of it from here on out other than, you know, normal mechanical stuff. Um, but as far as reliability, I don't see one problem with it. Uh, went through the engine, as you guys saw. It sounds good, runs good. You can run it out. Um, but yeah, I, I give it a clean, you know, clean bill of health with everything I've done on the car. Uh, like I said, feels good, runs good, I mean, Fires right up. Love the electronic ignitions on these things. Just makes life so much simpler. You know, you can have them sit all season. Don't have to worry about the points corroding or anything like that. You get into them, turn the key, you know, obviously fill the bowl after cranking, but crank, fires up. You know, enjoy it as a car should be. But thanks again for watching. You know, like, subscribe, do what you want, leave a comment. See you guys next time.